Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Health Span. Partial reprogramming is one of the most exciting rejuvenation technologies. Although it has been shown to rejuvenate tissues, one outstanding question is whether it can extend the lifespan of an organism. This is what the team looked at in this paper. Gene therapy mediated partial reprogramming extends lifespan and reverses age-related changes in aged mice. Please note that this is a preprint, so it has not been peer-reviewed yet. And one of the main authors is Dr. Noah Davidson, who has recently been on our channel, where we discuss some of the background to this paper. The aim of the study was to see if cellular reprogramming impacts health span and lifespan. Recent studies have shown that three of the four Yamanaka factors, OCT4, SOX2, and KLF4, with CMIC being omitted, have reversed age-related changes in vitro and in vivo. However, whether the lifespan of wild-type mice can be extended has not been studied. In the study, they delivered these OSK factors intermittently to the whole body using a viral vector into 124-week-old mice, which is about equivalent to an 80-year-old person. This extended the remaining weeks of life by 109% compared to the controls and also health span as measured by a lower frailty index. They also saw a reversing of epigenetic age in human skin cells with the same set of three Yamanaka factors. I will not cover this in any more detail. The results may have important implications for the development of partial reprogramming interventions. Before we jump into the paper, let's hear Dr. Davidson describe partial reprogramming with Yamanaka factors. Yeah, for our next generation of uh, therapeutic targets, um, I mentioned epigenetics uh, earlier, and uh, our goal is to re-regulate re all of your genes back to an earlier state. Uh, a very powerful tool for this is to use epigenetic modif modifying factors um, similar to the Yamanaka factors where you do this partial reprogramming, which has uh, been a very hot topic of lately, where you temporarily turn the cell toward a stem cell and then let it relax back into its normal cell function. People have shown benefits from doing this partial reprogramming. Uh, I did a, had a collaboration with Sinclair Lab where they were able to show um, rejuvenating effects in the optic nerve from uh, an AAV that delivered OSK. Uh, these are three genes that are part of this um, uh, reprogramming uh, set that uh, that came from the uh, pluripotent stem cell field. And uh, our next generation of therapies is taking advantage of this idea that you can re-regulate all the genes in a cell back to an earlier state and make that entire cell younger. And if you can infect enough cells in a tissue, the entire organ. And if you can in infect enough organs in the body, the entire person. And so our goal is to start with a very specific tissue and show that we can have a large effect on a particular disease and then expand the different tissues and cells that we can get into throughout the body so that we can reverse aging systemically in each individual cell. <laughs> they made a couple of points in the paper which I think are worth highlighting. The first is that some previous studies have used transgenic mice which were designed to express the Yamanaka factors in the presence of doxycycline. This has the benefit that it removes the problem of delivering the factors to the cell, but is not translatable as we are not going to have transgenic humans. So in this case, they used AAVs or adeno-associated viruses to deliver the genes. The second is that it will not be young people who are going to be rejuvenated, rather it will be the elderly so it makes sense to try the therapy on aged mice. In this case, the mice were C57BL6J mice, 124 weeks old. These mice have a median lifespan of 129 weeks. In the study, they used an AAV. An AAV is a non-pathogenic virus for which the DNA can be changed. When the virus is injected, it will enter into the cell and produce the proteins based on the DNA that have been loaded into it. In this case, they used two separate payloads. One was the three Yamanaka factors, OCT4, SOX2, and KLF4. The genes were not active all the time. Instead, they were used on a cadence of one week on, one week off throughout the trial. To control the expression of the genes, they used a system which would express them only in the presence of doxycycline 
an antibiotic. One of the viral vectors could detect the presence of doxycycline, which then released a promoter, TRE, that activated the Amanaka factors in the other viral package. Here are some of the key results. This graph shows the survival curves from the start of the experiment with the mice aged 124 weeks. There were 20 in the treatment group and 20 in the control group. The median lifespan is the time when 50% of the mice are still alive. For the control group, this was 133 weeks, and for the treatment group, 142.5 weeks. This is an increase from 8.86 weeks of life remaining at 124 weeks to 18.5 weeks, or 109%. The total lifespan increase was about 7%. The gray line is for the historical data for this type of mouse from the JAX lab, which supplied the mice. Using the frailty index defined by Heinz Milne, they assessed the health of the mice. The treatment group was significantly less frail than the control, where a lower frailty score index is better. It should be noted that the study was run by Rejuvenate Bio, who is developing therapies in this area. The paper skips some details. With any Yamanaka factor-based reprogramming, there is concern over cancer. All they mention on this is that they did not observe any gross teratoma formation. Overall, I thought this was a great first step to show that partial reprogramming could extend lifespan in older mice. I like that they used old wild-type rather than transgenic mice. As discussed with Dr. Davidson, Rejuvenate Bio is currently trialing a more targeted gene therapy for specific proteins in the liver with the same AAV technology, which is closer to clinical trial. This overall rejuvenation is in development for their next generation. Thank you for your attention, and I will speak to you again soon.